Yeah, well, not as weird as you look, because we're live, darling. <laughs> <laughs> look like a dangerous hamster. I, th I thought it was the Olga's cooking channel, not Matthew's cooking channel. Well, I thought you were my glamorous assistant. I'm not. I'm the assistant. Evening, everybody. As you can see, I've been asleep. Um, come straight in from work. And uh, collapsed and went to bed. Absolutely exhausted. This whole thing is wearing me down. Right, but... I've been under strict instructions by Olga to um, share with you the Olga's cooking channel. And tonight it's chicken and leek pie, which I have to say I will definitely wake up for. Um, and during this uh, cooking channel, I will be participating in <laughs> a cheeky gin and tonic. But in the meantime, let's get back to the beautiful Olga and her, her chicken pie. Well, um, you can tell I've been at home today. It's the first day at home, and I'm not really a person who sits on the couch or does nothing. So I bleed. So you slept on the couch. I bleed all the downstairs. I got up with you. You're asleep, you were asleep well, on the couch. You were asleep on the couch. You were asleep on the couch when I returned home. I had a 45 minutes beauty snooze, which was great. But um, I cleaned all the downstairs. I planted some plants. Oh, can you show my um, new greenhouse I built? Olga. Yeah. Are you doing a Matthew and going off on one? Maybe. Anyway, um, we can show it later. But um, meanwhile, come here, I'm not sure what I'm doing here because you were asleep. You coming over? Oh, Alright, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. One shallot and one leek, and I'm sauteing or sweating my um, oh, yeah. onions. Is it that hot? So we've got um, potatoes, well, mashed potatoes, with a few uh, fresh bay leaves, courtesy of Ian across the road. Great stuff. Right. Okay. Is um, that again for me, darling? What have we got here? Potatoes. A bit of um. That's a, how have you salt. prepared the potatoes, darling? I just peel the potatoes. Okay, put them the, in the boiling yeah, water. Let's, t let's tell the people then, shall we? Uh, put them in the boiling water with a bit of salt. <gasps> I've forgotten one thing to do. I'm gonna add a couple of a couple of food. Makes everything very aromatic. Okay. Just a few of them right. in there. Okay, right, so let's go through the, about the potatoes again for everybody. We peeled them. So you peeled the potatoes? Yep. Yep. Uh, water is boiling. Well, the water is boiling before you put yep. the potatoes in? Absolutely. Right, okay. And then. Um, People aren't mind readers. I know you think I'm a mind reader, but. And then you know. I added a pinch of salt, a good pinch of salt. Okay. And put the potatoes in the boiling water and then added bay leaf and a. Peppercorns. You've added uh, bay leaf and peppercorns in with the water that's yep. boiling with the potatoes that you've peeled and uh, did you say any salt? Did you say any salt? Salt and yeah. uh, actually I added as well two garlic cloves. All right, so you haven't told everybody what you've been do doing at all, have you? Guys, you are supposed to be like me, a blooming mind readers. <laughs> okay, in here. Right, and what you got? I, in there I've got a... Um, butter and um, olive oil but always put olive oil or oil first before you put butter in because it stops butter from burning that's a little trick for you um, so say it again put the olive oil and then butter olive oil first yeah or any and oil then oil. butter afterwards mm -hmm. and it prevents the butter from burning correct yeah, yeah correct okay um, sorry you have to do a bit of translating okay, there so, for me. Um, um, Sweating my onions and then this sweating. Why is it called sweating? Because it becomes quite silky. Um, oh. That's my stock I made earlier on. 500 milliliters of chicken stock. You can do it from the cube, but I was making soup. 
So, so right, uh, let's uh, be nice and clear. So you've made chicken stock earlier. Yeah, I did. Yeah, this isn't from a cube, but you can. Fine, yeah, you can do it from the cube. <laughs> Alex has got cut straight to the chase. Which gin am I drinking? The purple one, of course. Well, this is important, just as important as your pie. It's not. It is. Matthew. Right. Telling back. And then I put, so I put the stock, it's 500 ml approximately. Yep. And then I'm going to put uh, 200 ml of white wine. 200 ml of wine. Oh, I've got a load of wine at work that um, I've yeah, got to bring home. Yeah, that's what I said to you. Yeah, yeah hopefully it's been thrown for cooking. So, it just so to... that's, that's the chicken stock that and you the put 500 ml? Yep. Yeah. Um, Not 500 ml, half a litre of wine. Half a litre, yeah. Of, of wine? Of in there? 500, 500 ml of stock, All right. 200 ml of white wine. Oh, 200 ml of white wine, okay. Really? Right, and then you've got, what's sweaty over there? Um, my legs, um, one leg and one onion. Sweaty, I don't like the idea of that. So then sweaty we'll one. The I've been down the gym or something today. <laughs> Not the legs. In Inside the stock, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grate a bit of a nutmeg. I'm a bit in love with a nutmeg currently. I'm going to grate in there. Tell me about it. I love nutmeg. It smells beautiful. So nutmeg in the chicken stock with, uh, with the 200 ml of white wine? Yeah. Someone's asked if you can share this uh, ingredients online. I will do. Yeah. I can take a... A picture of the of the items I used. Okay, and basically, okay. we're gonna do um, a chicken. So it's definitely to... Alex says the wrong usage of wine. Gin's going down. I'm on. I've drunk about uh, by the looks of it 50 mil so far well done, of so gin. Got, um, <laughs> you can half a kilo of uh, diced chicken. Harlow, go Harlow. <laughs> the gin's working, everyone. Half a kilo. Instead of saying half a kilo, I said Harlow. <laughs> of diced chicken. Yeah. So we're gonna fry it up. So that's boiling. That's gonna boil in a minute. And that's fried. Lovely. Yeah. And this is all for the for the inside of your chicken pie. Chicken pie. Yep. Yeah. So we're adding a bit of seasoning now, a bit of salt and pepper for what? The chicken. For the chicken. The cheeky chicken. The cheeky. Not cheeky, the cheeky. Cheeky chicken. I like the crystal salt. I don't like Gin's the... Gin's gone down another 20 mil. I think it brings out all the flavours. I don't like when people use that. I can't... See, this, this, this is the salt you want. You want to... This is, this is salty salt, is it? That's a proper one. Yeah, it's, it's not... What what is what is salt if it's not salty? No, but it just brings out the flavours better when it's in the The flavours, yeah. She's just trying to say it's just it's obviously cost her a lot of money. No, it's one seventy five. One seventy five, yeah. And as then I, said. Uh, I always meal my peppercorns while I'm doing it. Or ask me to meal. Meal. Or ask me to bash it for me, don't I? I don't like when it's free. So. You got freshly cracked yes. pepper here. Yeah? Correct the mundo. So that's what we're gonna do next. Well it's So Alex, can you tell me I can see you said wrong usage of wine? What I, is the correct usage of wine? Uh, yeah, what do you believe is the correct usage? We've got Steve watching now, Charlotte watching now. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi everyone. We're cooking our chicken and lick pie today. Chicken and leek pie. I and I, I, the cameraman, I'm having a cheeky gin and tonic. Because I was asleep a minute ago. We need to add some heat. Can you show people? Oh, 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 whilst I've got everyone on. Sorry. Um, I meant to say, uh, when you're ordering your takeaways, um, from home and eat. Um, we can also um, do uh, takeaway wine and beer.
Something I forgot to say. So we can do, because obviously we've got a license, so we can do takeaway wine and beer with your takeaways. So, Dina Sorry, and Avina. Back to you. So we're gonna add a bit of a temperature in. Um, can you show a while I'm cooking my greenhouse to the game? Your greenhouse is pathetic. I love it. Look, have a look. So this is how I've been entertaining myself today on my first day off in ages. I want to know: Are you gonna grow weed? Uh, not you. Yeah, but it looks no. like you're gonna grow weed. I've got radishes, I've got carrots, and I've got pea So I need to So all we've got to do now is buy chickens and a cow, and oh, you're no, sorted. I don't want chickens, I want a goat, baby goat. Yeah. Chickens and a baby goat, that's what I want. Baby yeah, and a cow, yeah. And then what we're going to do tomorrow, obviously, as we didn't have a say today, even though I asked you advice, um, we're going to... Did you know that? Did you know that there's been queues around the corner for home base over the road? They have had the busiest week they've ever had. I'm gonna find Lupin. I love yeah. Lupin. Absolutely, completely um, ignoring I'm what I'm some saying. I love gladioli. I love yeah. gladioli. And they're, they're delicious no, they, with a bit of olive oil. Yeah. No, they do. You don't eat gladioli. <laughs> so that's for me for tomorrow. Um, right. She's digressing, guys. She is actually showing us how to cook chicken and leek pie. <laughs> and I'm demonstrating the medicinal magician and purposes of Zijin and Jonic. Thank you. So what we're gonna do next is uh, some flour in there. It's 50% flour. Yeah, didn't flour? Then you then you find out that I'm not supposed to have this. Oh uh, well. We All need right. to thicken up the so you're adding this to this for what reason? To make the sauce thicker. To make it thicker? Yeah. Well, that's thicker. <laughs> yeah. So. Kim, Kim's watching. Oh, I'm we're getting really loads really. and loads of little bubble... Um, a little thumbs up from Kim. Thank Yay. you, Kim. Woo! We can't invite anyone at the moment, can't we? <laughs> Look, Alex has ordered a chicken coop. <laughs> what? Alex has ordered the chicken coop. This this chat, Alex, that you can see these comments coming from, yeah. Alex is actually um, Olga's brother-in-law. <laughs> yeah, so he's having to go through exactly the same experience I am, but in Lithuania. What do you mean experience? I've stuck up. Stuck experience. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you trying to do? Um, Quite no, strong, got... darling, at the bottom. Did you stir this? No. So next bit, I'm going <laughs> to add 200 ml of cream. Tell that, darling, what is it? Cream. Cream? Mm -hmm. Cream. Single cream? Double cream. Double Fatter cream. the better. Fatter the better, what? Yeah. Your bloke? Yeah, basically. <laughs> but then, stir quite quick because if you haven't stirred flour well, you're going to have lumps and you don't want lumps. Oh my word. So that's the sauce that I get in the thing that, the pie that I actually go bonkers about. Yeah, and then... I've got to tell you everyone, this chicken pie is absolutely epic. Like a bit more salt. And then what I'm going to do, this is where the wine and the stock was. This is yeah. wine and stock with, uh, what's on top? Nutmeg. Nutmeg. And then I'm going to add this in there. So you could do massive versions of this and we could sell it at work. Absolutely freaking lovely. And you can Absolutely use... freaking lovely. That's a bit rude, isn't it? And then you can um, use, so for instance, what I do, this is with a fresh chicken. But if, let's say, I would cook the roast, yeah, on Sunday, and I would have leftovers from turkey, big chicken, you can reuse the meat. Oh, darling, there's some tonic in this gin. Well, go behind the door. I can't, I'm a tripod at the moment. Are you a tripod? Yeah. Tripodian. Tripodian. 
I'm tripodian. <laughs> I think this part here, Olga didn't stir it because she gave me this to try Wake and up. bring yeah. me back to life because I had a bit of, little bit of a snooze when I got in from work. I needed a snooze. Hang on, I'm going to go back onto me. Thing. I've needed a snooze every night this week. I've been absolutely exhausted and I look about 600 years old. In father, yeah, it has been a bit of a stressful week and I think it tells volumes in my face. So, anyway, back to the food, everyone. I'm gonna squeeze. Oh, I've got, I bought this really cool thing. So, what's this, darling? That's tarragon. Oh! Hey, what's wrong? A mess. You I'm just spilling it. Oh. No. Do you hear that, everyone? Straight on me. Look. So, what have we got here? Uh, half of a lemon. Half a lemon. In there. Look how cool it is. Love it. My one of my favorite. Then you can say, if life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Positive things. And then. That's the tarragon which I chopped earlier. Tarragon? We do love tarragon because it's a very anise -y, isn't it? Right. You love tarragon. Anise and flavour. So, uh, what's, what's that? What's, what's the, um, what's the Sarah alcohol? Anise. What's the alcohol? Perno? Licorice. Yeah, perno, the tequila. Udo. Udo, no. The Greek stuff. Perno. But we do like tarragon, so we're gonna, we're gonna add a lot of it. I like it. Lovely. So, that's... That's the, that's the sauce for my chicken. Everybody, come on. Please, everybody comment. Are we losing viewers? No, just. So that's bubbling away. Meanwhile, come here. So what I'm gonna show what I'm gonna bake in oven as our side dish. Right, hold on, I'm coming over. Everything is ready, so it will be nice. Chin as well. <laughs> We've got, um, Carrots, cabbage with balsamic glaze and a bit of a thyme, so you can't have the cabbage. But I can't have the cabbage and I don't really fancy the carrots. Why? Well, I should get the carrots because I can't sleep, so I'll be able to sleep in the, see in the dark when I wake up. So that's going to go to the oven now. I've preheated oven 280 degrees. Oh, yeah. So that's going to the bottom shelf. And now we're going to do the pie itself. Oh, hang on. Wait, wait. Coming back. Why? Where are we going? I thought you said doing the pie. Making the pie. We're going to make the pie. Well, we're doing two pies. Um, it depends how much stuff I'm going to have. Right. What's this fella here? This one sitting here. I'll show you. Oh. I made them stock earlier. All right. Out of chicken to make a bit fancy stuff. Oh, okay. If someone tries to like make a fancy chicken pie, basically. Oh, Caroline's telling us what she's been making this week. Thank you, Caroline. More the better. Oh, what have we got here? This is... So the sauce goes inside. Right, so this is your tarragon, uh, your chicken, your leek, your... Did Cream. You, did I see celery in there as well? No. Right, just your leek. I've got to say, I am rather looking forward to this. <laughs> you do like your pie, don't oh, you? Oh, I do love the pie. Because I just love busting that crunchy, uh, crisp pie top straight into it. And it's like dunking a biscuit in a really good cup of tea. But when it comes to dinner, do you know what I mean? It's just like... It, That's a very good... Oh, oh it does. It does. That's a good metaphor, isn't it? Yeah, I just love it. So... And in between, I can have a little snooze whilst it's cooking. <laughs> oh no, I'm exhausted, darling. Oh, me too. I was, I was yesterday. Yeah, well, it was you know tough what? sleeping yesterday, on the sofa, was it? I was crying, <laughs> but not crying because I was upset, but crying because I felt actually a relief. I felt, you know, because there was so much pressure of not knowing what's going to happen, where we're going, what's going to, how we're going to do things. And what we got here? Um, beaten egg. Right. Darling, you're going to tell people yeah, 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 what's in there. Yeah, it's or come on, guys, you got to be like me and yes. guess what's inside this. So I'm going to. So this is a beaten egg. How yeah. many eggs you got in there? Uh, two. 
You've got two eggs and they've beaten the whole eggs? Yeah, full eggs. Right, okay. So, um, obviously, because at the moment nation is not uh, very advanced with cooking, therefore, <laughs> we're not making our own pastry, but we're using the one which has been bought from the shop. Um, so, Christine, um, cooking is her passion. She's not a, um, a, a chef yet. for um, home and eat, um, even though she does want to be, I think. Uh, Do you think? We're going to be like a cat and dog. Not our cat and dog. Not really, darling. You've got to remember I'm the boss. Well, do you remember so, I'm the boss? So it's not uh, going exactly. to Exactly. So, yeah, I think you need to just cook at home and let me sleep. <laughs> and sleep on the sofa. Yeah. Add a half an hour. Late dinner. Caroline, it's always late dinner here. Yeah? Always late so look, dinner. Look, show what I've done. So I covered my uh, pie. Yeah? The edges of the pie dish. Yeah. You have a puff pastry. Yeah. Right. There's nothing, nothing difficult. It's not technical meal. And then I'm going to use more egg So wash. this puff pastry, you've just bought this in, yeah? Yeah, I just bought it in a shop. But if people really fancy, we can make pastry together next time. But I don't think people skilled yet enough. Depending how people home. skilled yet enough. You're just, <laughs> just going to keep it basic. Good. Kim's giving it some lots and lots of little smiley faces. Thank you, Kim. I think... When we're gonna go to like a full lockdown, people are gonna develop their skills in baking. However, I'm gonna show you a little tip how to lift up pastry better. You've got your roping, yeah? Uh, hey, darling, tell everyone what you're doing very clearly, So I'm gonna sweetheart. transfer the rest of the pastry on my pie. Yeah. So I'm using the rolling pin, yeah, like this. Yeah. There. I'm gonna roll pastry. That's how my nana taught me. Because we used to bake quite a lot together. Like this. Yeah. And then you are. Oh, we're getting lots of hearts here. Good to go. Thank you, everybody, Ooh. for your hearts. Oh, dear me. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, don't worry about that. <laughs> well, the cat's going to jump on. Where? The cat's going to jump on. Cat, stop jumping. Do you like that? So that's how you splosh. Your pastry. lid. And splash your pastry. This is how you shouldn't be doing it. This is how you shouldn't be doing it, everyone. Okay, but so this is a nice demonstration on okay. clearly how not to do it. Anyway, we're going to make it work, don't worry. I'm not concerned. I'm going to make it work. And because I'm making a fancy pie, I'm going to do this. Look. And there, that's a cooked chicken thigh. It's going to look like an alien coming out of it. Ah! Like oh, oh dear me, look. I made a mess. <laughs> Love it. See, the, the, the people are obviously asking how the gin's going. How's the gin going? Yes, it tastes better because the last lot was just like neat gin. Now. Alex wants you to cook the cat as well. Why would he? He hates my cat, doesn't he? He doesn't really like meow meow. No. He, he has his opinions. He hates our cat. Our cat? Yeah. He didn't tell me that. Right, block and delete. He hates it because it causes him to sneeze. Well. Okay, so what we're going to do next? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is that? Experimentative pie. Look, it's gonna be looking amazing. I promise you. It's fine. And then you're gonna add more egg, beaten egg on top. I promise you, it's gonna look amazing. Don't worry, people. They're not worried. I'm the one who's got to eat this thing. Oh come on, it's homemade. You definitely can't buy ripped pastry in the shop. And now we're gonna just transfer it to the oven. For 30 minutes. And what's the oven set on, darling? 180 degrees. How long has it been set for 180 degrees? Uh, 25 minutes. So all that temperature's just come flying out because you've left it open for so long. We have an alien chicken breast. There you go. That's it. That's done. So we're going to wait for the final. Are you going to do another one or what? Um, We're going to do the. No. 
What? Oh, what? You got enough salt? You got enough? Is that not enough there? Nah. What's all that then for? Um, I'll think of it tomorrow. I may make myself a little pie. A different pie. Human. Tell me. For my lunch. I'm gonna Get do... off here, cat. Wait. Meow, Go on. Meow, off. Meow. Off the cat. Get off. Off. Psh, psh. Shoo, shoo. Get off. Come on. Off. I don't, I don't want cuddles. Come on. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha. Ah, caught me a meow meow. No, She's leave her alone. So well, go on. Off you go. Right, so what we <laughs> darling, what are the potatoes for? Uh, mashed potatoes. Those, oh, right, they're not going inside the pie. No. If they're going inside the pie, it's too late. Are you Oh, I shouldn't, but that, do you know what? I would have added, personally, yeah. some sliced new potatoes inside the pie. <sighs> yum, That's yum. why you're not cooking. Oh. That's the reason behind. <laughs> Use the tap and squirt him. Him's a her. That's V. That's the letter. letter. The cat. Slash meow meow. Yeah, we call her meow meow. I and I still reckon Olga's going to be growing some weed in there. I'm not going to grow any weed. <laughs> Jesus. I think you are. Is that you? I think it'd be much more fun if you were growing weed in there. <laughs> I'm going to get some offers now. I would. I love it. Yeah, you, you said, you know, have you got any proper weed seed? <laughs> weed seed. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I need to cultivate that? Gin's going good. This is like... I've reincarnated this gin. All I've done is added tonic because you didn't stir it. I'm not having a good day. Look. <laughs> show me. Uh, show me. I smashed the so plate. What's going on with that? I smashed the plate. Well, it saves. It saves a. Uh, saves a washing, doesn't it? Oh, my God. oh shiver! I should reverse into the fridge. Right. So let's all sit here and watch. Oh, now the doorbell. Door alarm's going off, the other camera's going off, everything's telling us. Now the dog's telling me, telling us that there's someone at the front door. It's me because I took it to the recycling. Okay. You need to recycle. I'm trying to be very good to our okay, okay. mother nature. Right, okay. so you're still live, you've still got 45 people watching. What yeah. are you going to show them now? Uh, we're going to do the mushroom. You didn't waste now. that good wine over there, did you? Or what? What do you mean waste? That wine went in my pie. Yeah. What's wrong? Now that needed drinking. So, right. Does, do you need to tell anybody else your of your fabulous followers? Or are we just going to stay live and then probably end up fighting live? Which would make fabulous... Real life TV. Don't you start though. <laughs> don't don't encourage me. Don't encourage me. Usually Matt we tag in that bathroom. I'm doing it just for the camera, so you know. I do try to use every single pot and pan while I'm cooking. What has it got in here? Some Colombian marching powder. That's that's flour <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Why is everything should be drugger in these? <laughs> I don't know. It's just because you've given me half a bottle of gin in one glass. To I wake me to up. I you up. <laughs> you are useless. You are balancing between being useless and good for nothing. I was exhausted, darling. Well, I was ready to go to show people how I ripped the pastry when you put it on a pie. Sorry? I was ready to show people how to destroy the pastry when you put it on the pie. <laughs> you did a good job at that. See, I can hardly get my words out. How much gin did you put in this? I don't know. Let's have a look on the bottle. Oh, I don't know how much was in there. Right, so, Olga, everyone's seen that you have a uh, skunk hibernation it's unit. It's not a skunk hibernation unit. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. What's wrong with you, Matthew? <laughs> the 
The potatoes are still boiling. There's nothing exciting going on there. You've made the pie. The surprising thing. I've just realised the longer I can stay in here watching you do this, yeah. the less I have to wash up. Oi. That's Bottoms up to that. Correct. Hmm? I'm gonna just transfer that to the for my pie for tomorrow, maybe. Do you know I the only problem with you this you having a gin? I wake up in the morning and I'm so dehydrated that my mouth tells me, "Oh my God, I got a sore throat!" And all I need is all I need is a little drink. Um, can you ask people what would they like me to cook? Have we got any ideas? Maybe they want to So, can we have some suggestions, please, everybody? That's what good. you would like Olga to prepare live on her cooking channel? She would like to do this every evening to give people hints and tips on what to cook at home we can just forget about the whilst you are stuck into the home. She will also give you hints and tips on how to keep your man happy by giving him too much gin and tonic. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, it'll be a happy man and then probably be a very sleepy one on the sofa. Happy and sleepy. Is okay. that is that not equal happy, sleepy and fat? Not or not <laughs> no, not exciting. I didn't say exciting, just probably so easy to live with. They're all ready to go. Yeah. Pie is rising. Oh, good. I think Cherry pie. I'm gonna show people how to make mashed potato. Everyone, how people? What's I don't know. What the skill level depends. You know, I would be offended if someone would try to show me how to make mashed potato. Darling, a well-made mashed potato is epic. A well-made mashed. Yeah. For these purposes, what you need to do... Well, you've just said that, that, that... Oh, go on, go on. I'm going to save the... Save the flavour. Save the juices. Yeah. Right. Save the juices. Then, you can use that. That's how my nanny taught me to do it. I'm going to use the colander. Yeah. And then quickly turn them back and then dry them out. Not sure why, but this is how we've been always to dry them out on a quick. Um, Darling, fire. can you move over a bit so I can get you and the dish? Thank you. So you need to dry them. Dry the potatoes. That's a gin. Oh. What are you? It's my cooking channel. It's not That's your right, drinking I'm just blaring you out. So you need to dry them out on the heat. So right now we are removing said moisture from the potatoes. Just dry them out a bit. Yeah. Yep. Do you think um, next time I should have one pipe in the oven before I... What, Blue Peter style? Sorry, I thought it's probably lost on you. But Blue Peter, they would always have one that they prepared earlier. Mm. Mm. It's not a problem. I can just show people my tummy later. So it smells good. You're lo losing viewers, darling. Okay. I think we need to pack it in, I think. Right. I'm just going to quickly finish with the mash. So I'm going to crush the potatoes. Mm-hmm. Crushing the potatoes. So potato masher. Nice and easy. Oop. That goes to the bin. I usually, usually leave that in and then I start going, oh, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to add some juices. Well, that makes no sense because you just took those juices out. No, but the potatoes are crushed better then. Yeah, and then I'm going to add some crepe. And that's it.
More cream. Have you any wonder why I'm so plump? <laughs> Hot <tie. laughs> I like to add cream, I don't like to add milk. I prefer cream. It's... Why are you showing gin? Okay. It was just a live gin update. Look how nice and fluffy it is. And we're just going to wait till I'm... Fluffy. Till it's done and then take a picture maybe of our... Chicken pie. We can't okay. add pictures to lives, unfortunately, in comments. No. You can't. In normal normal things you can. That's it. Look how nice it is. Lovely. Homemade mashed potato. Easy. That's it. And we're just gonna wait for the pie to be ready. I'm like cooking channel over. <laughs> I didn't think that's That's it. That. That's fine. It's fine. Right, everyone. I'm saying right again. So, so, 15 minutes, and the pie will be I'm feeling a little bit, a little bit more live, but as you can see, still the stress of running your own business is showing all over my face. Um, I look awful, but see you soon. Uh, chin up, and it's bye from me. Bye from Olga. I'm going to go off live because she's probably going to beat me now. Not today. I feel a bit sorry for you. Oh, great. <laughs> this is always good. It's nice. <laughs> nice. Anyway. Right, I'm gonna go and stick some moisturizer in my face, some anti-wrinkle. Hopefully that'll make me younger. Not that young, obviously. I'm beautiful, I look good. You're beautiful, I look good. I think I do. Right. Okay, right. Well good evening and goodbye and see you tomorrow. Remember, order your Mother's Day food as soon as early as you can tomorrow. Um, we've got a massive, lovely load of orders. So thank you so much for everyone supporting us. Um, for Mother's Day tomorrow and roast dinners being delivered by moi. I, I'll have lots of lovely sleep. Only the one gin and tonic. I think it was just sort of gin with maybe a tiny bit of tonic. Had to wake him up somehow. Wake me out, it's gonna put me to sleep. So um I'll see a lot of you tomorrow when I'm delivering and uh no I don't want any mash it, darling. Um remember you can order a bottle of wine, some drinks, some beers and stuff with your mother's day I call it vino and roast vino. dinner, or if you're just having roast dinner at home, it doesn't have to be just for mummies. Okay? Mm -hmm. So see you all tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Bye. 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 I'm trying to turn it off. I haven't pressed the button yet. Do you know I did a live from my pocket earlier? You do? Yeah, I didn't even know I was doing it. I had a phone call from Matt saying, I think you're live. <laughs>